largest of 2010 is Richard O'Shea from Skullwear Guns Roll, Blarney County Court. Richard O'Shea! They called up my name and was like, no, that, that's, not, that's not me. And everybody started cheering and I kind of going, oh God, it is me. I went down and got the trophy. This is amazing. It's just brilliant. It was, it, was, it was the greatest feeling of my life. It feels great. I never thought I'd be here. It's amazing. It's amazing. I, just, I never thought this would happen. I'm over the moon. I've been doing this for a year and a half, developing, going through the different designs of stoves that are there and eventually coming up with my one. And um, yeah, it was, it was so at, at stages it was tedious going through all the different bits and sacrificing my mornings getting up at you know nine o'clock in the morning to go into the shed and try and fix this cut a hole in a tin can basically cut myself up to pieces off the sharp metal and never invest in a pair of gloves but um, this is just incredible and I never thought it'd be here. Ingenuity in the most simplest form it's a, a, a Richard's created a cooker uh, which uh, biofuels which puts out very very small amount of smoke develop, uh, created for the developing world which will actually help um, reduce climate change and actually interestingly he's already said that he wants to get into environmental sciences and, and sustainability so simple project but amazing innovation. I am Richard's teacher, he's physics and applied maths teacher and it's, he's a magnificent student, he's an awesome student, he's been working on this project for about a year and a half and he is so So thorough in everything he does, he's just a magnificent young fellow. He's a member of the Boy Scouts and lighting fires is obviously one of the classic Boy Scout activities and um, he also has been to Africa and seen the way the, the uh, in many communities that the cooking is done inside huts and it's very smoky and it's very unhealthy and Richie came up with the idea then of trying to make a system of cooking and that was low fuel, very fuel efficient and had very low emissions. So he developed and developed and developed. Um, you should see his collection of tin cans down there. He wanted to do his this cooking stove from simple materials, thrown away materials, empty bean tins, that kind of stuff. So that's what he's done. And what I did was I reverse engineered it, modified it and well incorporated it into an overall cooking system which has which has an outer can air intakes and which can be built from tin cans and a knife. And what I want to do now is I want to get into contact with charities so they can start training people on the ground how to build these things. You couldn't ask for a better way to start 2010. We know it's going to be another tough year, but this inspires. And uh, yeah, if we, can, if we can actually create some innovation and, some, and companies out of this, which I think we very can, um, as we saw last year, you know, this will be you know, great for the event, great for the individuals, and hopefully great for the country. People have made such an effort to get here, um, and the quality has been outstanding. And uh, you know, in, in, in the winter, it is truly exceptional. So yeah, it's been a fantastic, fantastic week. Delighted to announce on stage that we'll all, we will be here next year because it works and it works for us at so many levels. So yes, we will push ahead. My parents are kind of rang going, yeah, yeah, I, I, I've won. You are? I have won the entire competition. No, I haven't. Yeah, I have. And then they just started shouting and screaming and it, it's incredible. 